Hi guys, I'm Claire. Welcome back. Today I am going to be doing the booktube about me tag because I got tagged for the first time ever. Very exciting. I got tagged by Katie over at Books and Things. Her channel is fantastic. So I'm going to link her channel down below so you can check it out. But yeah, let's get started. So the first question is what do you study slash what is your job? I am a book publicist. So I work for a small boutique publicity firm. What's cool about working for a smaller firm is that you get hired by a number of different publishers and authors to work on different kinds of campaigns. So at any one time, we might be working on maybe 10 different campaigns, which includes fiction, genre fiction, children's chapter books, memoirs, art and architecture and design books. So yeah, I've been working there for about a year and a half and it's been really interesting and fantastic. What is your favorite social media channel? I guess besides this platform, my most used social media would be Twitter, even though I don't actually tweet. I'm more just like a lurker. And my Twitter is really kind of half movies, television, pop culture stuff, and the other half is social issues and politics and kind of the garbage fire that is uh, America right now. So, you know, Twitter, there are a lot of things to love about it. There are also a lot of things distressing about it. Opening your Twitter feed sometimes is like, you know, holding a little apocalypse in your hand. If you had another YouTube channel, what would it be about? It would definitely be about film. That's really my other great love in addition to reading. And actually, I would say that I probably am a little bit more plugged into what's going on in the industry of film and movies than I am in the book industry. And in terms of awards and festivals, I'm more in the know on film stuff than I am about book stuff. I'm really enjoying all of the early word that's coming in from festivals like Telluride and TIFF. So if you're interested in films, um, hit me up and let me know what you're looking forward to this year. Question four is, do you play any instruments? Uh, no, I do not. What hobbies do you have other than reading? I mean, not a whole lot. <laughs> um, reading takes up a lot of time and also, like I said, I do spend time watching movies and then also just, you know, burning the hours on the internet. But I do really like hiking. I had a pretty good hiking summer and went to the Canadian Rockies with one of my best friends and went to Banff and Jasper and just had a wonderful, fantastic time. And we saw two bears. And I also went to Yosemite a couple times this summer. I hiked Half Dome. It was really cool and I'm really proud of myself. I also like to bike. When I'm home in Wisconsin, I like to go on really long bike rides out on country roads. I've biked a little bit in San Francisco and the Bay Area, but it's slightly more stressful because you have to try to not get hit by cars and the hills are a bitch. You just can't really like turn your brain off the way you can when you're out in the country. So when I go home, I love to do really long bike rides. What are your favorite TV shows? So far this year, I loved Big Little Lies. I loved The Handmaid's Tale. I really loved Insecure, which just wrapped up its second season. I love Younger, which is totally just confection. What got you into reading? Probably the Little House books, especially when I was younger, my parents got me kind of picture book adaptations of the Little House books, and I almost remember those more than the actual chapter books that I started reading when I was older. What are your favorite and least favorite genres? So I was thinking about this after I read Tin Man, and I think that my favorite genre is like quiet longing and the ache of memory. If any book can be described in that way, I'm in it to win it. Genres that I'm not interested in, I mean, I don't pick up thrillers very often. I don't pick up mysteries very often. Anything that hinges on a twist and that hinges a lot on plot is something that I'm not super interested in. I'm more interested in individual interiority. And to be honest, if I'm gonna read anything that's particularly tropey or genre-y, it's probably gonna be something that has like a romance <laughs> element in it. I'm not embarrassed to say that, guys. I like a good rom-com. I like romance when it's well done. What books define your childhood? What I loved even more than the Little House books was Caddy Woodlawn, which I haven't revisited in a really, really long time, but I remember liking it more because it was also about a frontier family living in Wisconsin. Caddy was much more of a tomboy. She was more into roughhousing and being outside and kind of chafed at 
the ways in which her mom and sisters wanted her to be a little more ladylike or feminine, which is something that I super identified with um, because I spent most of my childhood just like rolling around in the dirt. One of my other favorite books when I was in elementary school was Bridge to Terabithia, which I think I liked because the girl dies at the end of it. Spoiler alert, I'm sorry. I think I was kind of a morbid kid who, because my life was totally fine, found books that had tragedies in them really profound and moving. So Bridge to Terabithia was like my shit when I was in fourth grade. I don't know what that says about me, but there you go. And lastly, tell us an interesting fact about you. I worked for a travel guidebook series when I was in college. It was kind of like Rick Steves or Lonely Planet, but for students and budget travelers. So I worked for that company for three years as an editor and a manager and sort of editorial stuff. The summer after I graduated from college, I worked for them as a researcher writer in Italy and did a sort of summer long route. It was definitely a really special thing that I will treasure forever. Now you know a little bit more about me. Hopefully you're not super bored. I would like to tag Vanessa over at Split Reads and Matthew Sharapa over at Matthew Sharapa. They both have really wonderful accounts and they're just really great bookish people. Yeah, that's all for now. Thanks for watching, guys.